Well, welcome back. Well, this morning we were talking about the significance of AARP for our viewers. And joining us from Florida is author and caregiver, um, who was a caregiver for her dad and now has knowledge beyond what any of us could conceive, Carolyn A. Brent, and she is joined by Ken Thomas, who is the Florida president for AARP. Um, Ken, I wanted to ask you about the baby boomers and just kind of empowering themselves with knowledge. Um, AARP is a good place to start with that. What kind of knowledge do baby boomers need to really focus on first when they're getting ready to, to jump in the role as a caregiver? So for caregiving, we are initially we're starting trying to do advocacy work in all of the states, trying to get states to recognize the plight of caregivers. So Carolyn's efforts in this in this realm is so important right now. The need for caregivers, the the statement goes. Uh, there are four stages or four types of people in the world. Those who are caregivers, those who will be caregivers, those who will receive caregiving, and those who will be benefited by that or become one in the future. And it's just uh, so important that they have the resources, knowing who to go to, knowing that legislation is in place to help them be recognized by the institutions, the hospitals, the legal systems in, in the country, knowing where to go to find respite. You know, one of the greatest dangers for the caregivers is their own personal health. And we offer many avenues and resources in communities, and we're growing that effort. Uh, technology. We're trying to work with developers throughout the country, the, uh, the brain trust, the creative, the creative mindsets, and using technology to help lessen the burden of, of caregivers, enhance their ability to do those services, promote caregiving locally as well as in many instances remotely. Yeah. Mr. Thomas, I need to ask the, the commercial between the donkey and the elephant, can you break that down for us? <laughs> oh, I, I, I think it's so funny, but it's really the phone call calling on Congress and the, uh, our leaders to call, it's a call to action. And as you notice in that commercial, it goes unanswered because for too many years, our leaders have kicked the can down the road when it comes to making sure Social Security is stable and prepared to address the issues for us as we age in the 21st century. Social Security needs to be updated because if it isn't, by the year 2034, beneficiaries could lose up to $10,000 a year in Social Security benefits. And for many, Social Security is the difference between living with dignity and respect and, or poverty. Well, because we've seen that commercial up here. I know Ronnie mm -hmm. said that she yeah. saw that, and I went and watched it yesterday, too. And, and again, it's kind of a call to action for us to say, okay, you know, Congressman, you need to, you know, get in gear in Washington and let us, let us know what you're doing to help us and, and to continue on with living a... a a good life. And Carolyn, I wanted to touch on, if we can, the survival guides. Did you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, this uh, Caregiver Su Survival Guide is literally on, on chapter 11 of the Caregiver's Book, or the Caregiver's Companion. And the reason why I have a survival guide there are because most caregivers, they get into a situation where they're having an emergency. And because they're in an emergency situation, there's quick little pointers to do to help them whatever situation they're in. So that is their a survival guide. It will guide them through before there's an emergency or during an emergency or after an emergency. So I call it the cheat sheet. That's what I call it. Mm -hmm. And in those points that you hit in that, the financial, the emotional, and the legal, and that again, when, when coupling it with AARP, what a great mm -hmm. combination. Your book, Carolyn, and then um, Ken, the, the resources we have with people like you with AARP. Perfect yeah. thing that baby boomers, we need to you know, just get more knowledgeable about, right? Absolutely. Yes. I always call it the three-legged stool. AARP is devoted to making life better for folks in their financial health, mm -hmm. in their personal, physical, and mental well-being, and also the enjoyment aspects of life. As you age, you still should be able to enjoy yourself. And those are the three foundations that we, uh, <laughs> that we apply here. And Mr. Thomas, I'm, I'm not quite 
50 yet. I got a little ways to go. I got an AARP letter in the mail for my birthday back in November. I should probably open that up and read it just for the resources, you know, for my family members. Absolutely. I would not pass this opportunity up to remind those who are able to join age-wise that the benefits that AARP offers go far beyond discounts at uh, Denny's and so forth. <laughs> we also, we're also a tremendous wealth of information, as we talked about just now, with caregivers. We're in the communities right now doing driver safety, helping older adults to yeah. drive longer and safer besides just giving discounts. We do tax aid. We do a, a wow. program called Home Fit, how to adjust your homes so that it, benef it can serve you as we age. There's just so many, so many things and so much information we have available. We're 38 million members strong. We have the largest magazine in circulation worldwide, and we're trying to get that important information out to everyone so that you can age with dignity and purpose. Absolutely. Yeah. And Carolyn, where can our viewers get your book? Caregiverstory.com, Amazon, go to the local library. It's every place. And also the uh, Caregiver Companion, it is still on the bestsellers list worldwide. Perfect. Well, there's a reason why. It's because you are so knowledgeable and you help so many people. Carolyn, um, we so appreciate you being with us every month. And Mr. Ken Thomas, what an honor to have you on our show this morning as well. Thank you for all of that great information. Thanks Thank for you. having me. See you next month. We appreciate you both, and we will see you next month. And we will be back with more NTV's Good Life in just a moment. Stay with us.